Hello, good day, everyone. I'm Joma John de Bhutan. And in our subject, quantitative research design, I'm going to discuss about the criteria for selecting a research design. So there are different possible approaches that we can use, either qualitative, quantitative, or mixed methods approach. So some criteria need to be considered in order to help us select a research design. So the research problem, the personal experiences of the researcher, and the audience. So let's start with the research problem. Of course, a research problem is any issue or concern in a certain field of study that needs to be explored. Okay, so normally this, is, this arises depending on where the researcher would want to do his study. Okay, so some approaches need a certain type of research. So for instance, that the research calls for quantifiable variables. Okay, so these variables are numerical in nature and they can be processed through statistical analysis. So if your research problem would give us this kind of results in order to help us provide an explanation or interpretation okay, to answer the research problem, then a quantitative approach is best, okay, or is the best option for us. If you are the type of researcher that prefers uh, exploring a research problem, a concept or phenomenon that needs more research done and needs to further exploration or needs to be understood, okay, a qualitative approach is better to be employed. Okay, so this is better for new topics uh, that needs further and deeper understanding. Uh, mixed method design is usually used when either the quantitative nor the quant qualitative research can stand alone by themselves. So if they cannot stand alone, you use a mixed method design so that they could complement each other. So the next criteria is the personal experiences of the researcher. So you as a researcher, you should be able to see for yourself which method are you more comfortable with? If you're the type of researcher that, that prefers a systematic approach or a set approach or set of procedures, okay, and you're more comfortable with numbers, then you use a quantitative method of research. But if you're the type of researcher who prefers a more flexible okay, form of writing or who prefers one-on-one -on -one interviews, uh, adapt in the observation of your research subjects, okay? And you are more of the type of the one who wants to explore in deeper and new territories in research, then you use a qualitative method of research. But if you're the type of researcher who has both privilege and luxury, okay, of time and resources needed to collect, and analyze both qualitative and quali quantitative data, then uh, you may try using the mixed method of research. But you should also have the sheer will, the interest, positive outlook, and of course, the skills in running both qualitative and quantitative forms of research. And the third criteria is the audience. So as a researcher, you should be very careful in choosing your audience, because these are the main consumers of your study. So either they are the consumers or the, benef the beneficiaries, okay? So your audience could either be journal editors or readers, faculty members, conference attendees, uh, colleagues, okay? Sometimes your uh, mentor is one of the uh, most influential person when it comes in the part of the audience, okay? Uh, normally, your uh, mentor could, could prefer using a quantitative or approach or a qualitative approach or both, okay? So their experiences can also affect your uh, choice of design. So they can also have an influence, okay? So those are the three criteria in choosing a research design. So that ends our short discussion. So thank you very much. And this is my reference.